I'm gonna give my eyelash curler a quick clean and I want to show this in the video because I often don't say this, but honestly, this will make such a difference because of what we're going to be doing with this eyelash curler. So it needs to be clean and dry before we actually use it to make sure we don't have any product sitting on there at all. So when it comes to my lashes, I like to do a few extra steps. I'm going to be applying some falsies, but I'm also gonna be doing several layers and several curls. Also, when it comes to eyelash curlers, I don't know, everybody uses them. I mean, I know a lot of people are getting their eyelashes permed, which, I really want to do. I'm so nervous about it. I really want to do it. Let me know if you do it. Is there anything that you're like, don't do it or do it or something? Anyway, let me know. I curl my eyelashes 800 times a day. My lashes are very straight. This is so important to me to make sure that this little sponge that's in the eyelash curler, you have to make sure that you are, are changing these regularly. You don't necessarily need to go out and buy a, an entire new eyelash curler itself. What you can do is actually get these pads individually. Sometimes they come with one or two of them keep them and then you can just replace them because otherwise they won't curl. So you need to be changing these on a regular basis. And what I do is I place the eyelash curler in there and then I like push backwards and this just allows my lashes to go like this. <laughs> they literally go because they're being like pulled up from the root and then I can squeeze downwards. You just want to make sure you don't grab the skin. I've done it before. Now the longer you hold this, the longer the curl will hold. I literally did an experiment where I held the curl and I like went up in intervals and I did like a mathematical equation because I wanna show people how that actually makes a difference. So the longer you hold this for, the longer your lashes are gonna stay curled. While I'm doing this, I always like to use my time wisely. So while my eyelashes are curling, I'm kind of either just like recentering myself, checking my breathing, or I'm just thinking, what will I make for dinner today? You know, and I'll go through that in my head. And it just means that I'm using my time really wisely whenever I'm like in a hurry, you know? But sometimes when you're in a hurry, the best thing to do is just to let yourself breathe and sit in it and just realize that it, that, that time is just gonna go how it wants to go and just take a few deep breaths. Okay, so that's my first curl. I'm now gonna go in with my mascara. I'm going to apply a very thin layer. Now again, this is my main feature. This is the thing that I wanna spend the most time on. So I am going to take those extra steps that I really like to do. I'm going to apply a very thin layer, and I mean the sheerest layer of mascara, literally like one, two, three, four, done. It's very important that you don't over apply with this first step. So I'm just gonna go wiggle, pull through. Wiggle, pull through, and I'll just get the edge, Ooh, like that. Do the other side. One thing I do when I do the other side is I try to remember to flip my hand. Sometimes I forget. Because the thing is, a lot of these mascaras, not necessarily this wand, because this one isn't as tapered as a lot of them, but sometimes they're so thin and then they go so thick. So if you're doing this, right, and you have the thinner side to the inner corner, that's fine. But then if you go over here, you've got the thinner side to the outer corner and it changes the shape of the lashes. I, you might not believe it, but it's true. Okay, we're gonna leave that to dry. It needs to dry fully before we do the next step. And this is what I call the hairspray method. So this is going to create a lot more hold for the second curl that we're gonna do. And it's going to make sure that that hold stays in place, but it needs to be a very thin layer. So while that mascara is setting in that first layer, I'm going to take a brown pencil. You can use black, you can use brown, whatever works for you. I like to use brown because it adds a little bit of warmth to my eyes and it brings out the kind of chocolate tones within my brown eyes. So I'm gonna be using this shade chocolate onto the upper tight line. So you have the water line, which is the lower part here. And then you have the tight line, which is the upper part. People use the terms and they interchange them, but usually tight line is the top, waterline is the bottom. I'm going to apply this basically in between the lashes and onto the upper tight line. Use your finger like this and just kind of lift it so you can get right in there. Or some people like to literally close their eyes and run it across. There's a million different ways that you can apply this, but I just feel like this adds so much to my eyes. If I had to pick, like only to do a couple of steps, I would do my brows, I would curl my lashes, and then just use this. And maybe like like a nudie lip balm. Because it literally makes you look like you have something going on. I know some people naturally have this darkness there, and 
I'm so jealous of those people. Now, if this tickles, one thing I'd recommend is looking in the opposite direction. So if you're doing the outer corner, bring your mirror over here and then at least your pupil is gonna be really far away from where you're applying the pencil. So the further your pupil is away, the less it tickles. However, over time, you literally lose the senses in your eyes as a makeup artist or even as a model. You don't feel things anymore. It's like the first time I had my brows done, like tweezed my brows, I felt it so much. Like it was so painful, but now I'm like, I don't even notice it. Just become immune to these things. I need a little bit longer. I can still feel a little bit of dampness. So we're just gonna leave it a little bit longer because it's always better to err on the side of caution because of the next step that we're gonna be doing. Now for my older, friends out there. I would recommend using a nude pencil on the lower part, even if you just do this. Like, watch this, right? Boom. Don't do it like multiple times. Just go, boom, done. And it will just brighten your eyes enough. I hate making a point of being like, you're gonna look so much younger because that's like, younger is better. No. Basically, you're beautiful at whatever age you are. Just, you know, a few things can help you along the way to throw the, those little extra things out of the window and just be like, meh, and still let yourself be yourself. I'm going to check my lashes. They shouldn't feel crunchy. If they do, you've applied a little bit too much mascara, but these feel nice and dry and they're ready for the next curl. It's really important that you don't go in with an extra curl on crunchy or over applied mascara because literally they will damage the lashes. And this thin there is going to give us that lift. It's going to give us that hold like hairspray. So we're gonna do exactly the same thing that we did before. We're going to place it in there just gonna give it a gentle squeeze this time. Look at that, look at that lift. Oh my goodness. One of my favorite makeup artists, Robert Jones, absolutely love him so much. One of the things I love is the fact that he doesn't just apply all the makeup and then wait to the end to apply mascara. He likes to build it up over time. And that way you can see the shape that he's creating as well. Now that our lashes are curled, we're gonna go back in with a second layer of mascara. And this is going to be our sealant. This is gonna seal in that shape and it should hold for us so much more than if we curled our lashes and then just applied a few layers of mascara. And this is especially great if you wear glasses like me. You don't want your lashes to be dragging onto your lenses. So you want to make sure your lashes are up and away. I also always keep my eyelash curler in my car so that even if I do have falsies on and I want to put my glasses on, I do a gentle little squeeze curl so that it doesn't touch my lens. So while our second layer of mascara is drying, I'm going to apply a little bit of blush and a little bit of lipstick and then I can come back Back to the eyes again and then it still isn't dry so it's almost getting there though I'm just going to apply a little bit of lipstick I will always opt for applying my lipstick first and then I will do my lip liner after if I don't have a lot of time yeah my lashes are dry so I'm going to skip my lip liner for a second and move back onto the eyes I'm gonna go in for my second third curl. So I do just need to make sure that I don't have any mascara on the curler because otherwise our lashes will stick to the curler. So we don't want that. This one doesn't need to be squeezed as much and you probably don't even need to hold it for as long as the second one either. I'm then going to go in with some falsies. Completely optional, obviously. I just love wearing falsies. So I just applied some lashes just off camera. They're pretty much the same length as my lashes. They just add just a little bit more volume. They're very sheer, very lightweight and I really like them. So our lashes are done. I'm pretty happy with everything. So I'm like, okay, what can I do next? I wanna show you. Microwaving instead of baking. If you don't have much time, of course you can microwave. <laughs> 